welcome to another Ellie Max tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to do a gory missing eye look. This look is perfect for Halloween if you just want something simple or you can add it to your zombie or if you want to do a Carl Grimes shot out eye look from the Walking Dead series. I will be using silicone. If you don't have silicone, you can use gelatin or just go back to basics with latex and tissue paper or a cotton. Let's get started. This tutorial requires beginner's skills and takes about 30 minutes to an hour to apply. You'll need sculpting gel or something similar, eyeshadow in black and brown, black watercolor, skin tape, foundation, colors in black, red and purple, fake blood both clotted and runny. And if you don't have access to sculpting gel, you can always check out the Easy Wounds tutorial and use that method to create your own shot out eye prosthetic. In that case, you'll have to add about 20 minutes for preparations plus drying time. Kick this off with some black eyeshadow. Up over the crease and make sure you get some under that waterline as well. Then we switch to a lighter brown color and blend that outwards like that. Make sure you get it all the way out there. Blend, blend, blend. Looking good. Now going for a darker tone and continue underneath our eye there and up on the crease. Blending, blending, blending. A little bit outwards there. And down under the eye. Then going for black on the center right there. Deepening the color. Next up we switch to watercolors and you need a lot of water on the brush there and the paint just push it towards the skin and it will start to run down your cheek. Pretty simple way to get a little pow in the makeup. And my tears are running in Swedish. Mina tårar rinner. Again pushing the brush onto our skin to force the drops of water to start running. Looking good. <laughs> All right, so we put on some falsies like that. Get them in place. And the shout goes to the SFX. Go check her creations out. There is everything from colorful clowns to nasty, gory stuff. We are sure you're gonna love it, so go follow her and check out the amazing work. And tell her we said hi. And with the falsies in place, we head on over to our shot out eye. Now we begin by covering our little eye with skin tape, like that, protect it a little. Two, three pieces should be enough, like that. Yep. And then we continue to give this eye a black base as well. Nothing fancy, just cover it up in black. And next up we're gonna use a sculpting product, a sculpting gel. There we have it. And there are so many similar products on the market, so find one you like. And you can of course also use our Easy Wounds tutorial to create uh, an eyepiece prosthetic using just latex and flour and attach that to your eye. Now here we scrape up some red grease paint and get that into the mix to color it from the beginning. Scraping off a little bit of black as well and mix that in there and start smearing it out over your eye, creating your little fleshy wound. Now of course you can shape this any way you like. Just get it on there, make sure it looks messy. And to do some detail work on it, we dip the tip of whatever tool you may have. This one is for nail construction or something I think. And simply scrape out the messy goo towards the edges there and it's very important that you dip the tip in oil any kind of any kind of oil actually works like olive oil or whatever you have have around 
To create a skin looking edge around the wound, we mix up the foundation of our choice and smear it out along the edge, just like this. Again, using a tool dipped in oil to shape and make cracks in the skin. You can actually use the end of a brush uh, as a tool for this. Sculpt it and shape it as you like. Let it dry and then continue to match it up with your skin. Go for a little darker tone closer to the edge. And here we switch to a clean brush to do the actual blending. So we're alternating between a brush with the color on and a clean one to do the blending. Now we switch to purple to get the brucey vibe on the wound and again switching brushes when we do the blend. Going for a red color in the middle of the wound Awesome. And then we pry open the clotted blood box and start smearing that out as well. Mainly going into the hollow areas as we see here. Get some big chunks out there like that. Just smear it off. Super cool. And we take a little uh, sponge, tear it up, prepping for our next step which is the blood. There we have it, we pour it on there. Pretty nice effect, letting it run down there to match up the other side. And then we dab with our torn up sponge, spreading the blood out a little bit. And to get a more dynamic look and feel to it, we add a darker blood as well. Same process, pour it out there get that sponge action going and if you want to you can use a little brush to spread out the blood with a little bit more precision and then you're done you're finished thanks for watching I hope you like this look and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you know what you want to be this Halloween See here, this is the species. This is a very rare species. It's called the blogger and the vlogger and the YouTuber. She seems to be doing something down there. See if we can sneak up. Okay. It's very rare to find these specimens, even in the studio. Not sure what's going on there. Yeah, that will be it. Oh, a bit of a little bit. So we can hold them.